I was traveling on a train on a business trip when I saw this beautiful image of a little girl holding her hands with a mother and holding a balloon in the other hand. And I thought, emotionally speaking, that image was so beautiful that I immediately sketched out on paper these two characters holding hands. I immediately thought about grabbing the baby hand with my finger on the paper on the paper sheet on the train, and, and that's where the idea of the game came from. Murasaki in Japanese means purple, so Murasaki baby literally means the purple baby. She's lost, she's completely vulnerable, and for this reason, there's an immediate connection with the player. One of the most challenging parts of my work has been to design baby and to design uh, the physics uh, involved. Baby has these arms that can be stretched uh, very far. So we have to mix the physics of the rubber bands with the animation, also with the feedback required to give the player a good feeling of uh, interacting with baby. These arms establish an emotional relation with the player. We all are passionate about bringing craftsmanship in a way into game making and not just relying on pure technology. We decided to go for a fully hand-drawn style within the game. But it's not just the style of the game, everything was really actually hand-drawn on paper. We got an amazing artist called Parida that makes everything by hand. And then we scan everything into the computer and we actually use those very scans as actual assets within the game. And I think that's also part of what makes the game so unique. Everyone is saying this game is handcrafted and I would like just to say that all the code is, has been handcrafted because a lot of time we make meetings with other coders and we decide things on paper more than in front of our PC. I spend weeks writing my code on paper and then I copy on my PC. Well, it's not true, I... <laughs> <laughs> in Murasaki Baby we're telling a story using no words, no dialogues, no voices at all. And I call that approach sort of like a silent storytelling approach. With video games you have interaction and through interaction you can drive emotions to the players. We cannot reveal if baby will find her mommy, but I can say that I'm her father. <laughs> <laughs> This is for the players.